Today on the channel, we prepare for winter with a trip to Hoth with the Rebel Trooper and the Snow Trooper. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxings and reviews in 2021 and possibly beyond. And today, we're taking a look at two of Hoth's favorite sons with the Hoth Trooper and the Hoth Snow Trooper. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So let's take a look at both these, and we'll do it like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We'll take a look at the packaging, we'll talk about it, we'll unbox it, we'll talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. But let's take a look at the Snow Trooper first. Uh, that's who won the bet. We're going with him. So there he is, very white, like a Snow Trooper should be, blending in that snow. Hoth, as you guys are all fully aware by now, beautiful this time of year. If you like it cold, head to Hoth. That's the way it is. From the Empire Strikes Back movie, of course, we know these Snow Troopers. From the Battle of Hoth, going to be part of my Hoth set up in my shelving of my star wars display as you can imagine there so we got some accessories we got a big blaster gun with this one that's pretty cool accessory i would say uh, we got empire strikes back on the side snow trooper uh, traditional star wars carding for this line got a blurb on the back kind of washed out with the whitish color uh, we got the cross cell down below we'll read the blurb we got a glamour shot of the figure of what it can do we got 10 Jedi Master Points. Uh, the billions keep raking in. I just can't believe how many of these Jedi Master Points I have at this point. But there we go. See you later. Get out of here like a Frisbee. Oh, we even got instructions with this one. See you later up high. What do the instructions say? It tells us how to assemble it, which usually I say, ah, who needs instructions? But better safe than sorry here. Slide posts into the legs. Slots on body is shown. Insert blaster. It looks pretty, uh, pretty easy, but we'll see. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm losing stuff. There goes the old plastic prison. There it is. Jeez, oh, I'm losing all kinds of stuff off the table. Now I'm going to have to stop the video and go find that stuff and uh, make sure we can put this thing together. But pop him out. Oh, and he's locked in with rubber band. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. I don't even know what that was. Holy cow, this is, this is hard times. Anyways, I'll be right back. Oh, hey, everybody. Stop the clock. I'm coming in. Future Kyle here dealing with past Kyle's mistakes as he forgot to read the back of the Snow Trooper. With the Imperial forces dominating their assault of the rebel base of Hoth, the battered rebels flee the ice planet. An Imperial Snow Trooper, a highly specialized form of trooper created for cold weather missions, set up an E-Web repeating blaster hoping to destroy Han's Millennium Falcon. But Han destroys the enemy's blaster and escapes to continue the fight another day. So there you go, and see you later. All right, we're back in the saddle. I found a missile over here, a backpack over there, a leg over here. This thing uh, fell apart real quick on us, but see you later. Get out of here. Instructions, don't need you anymore. See you later. Look at that sky hook. There it is. I love this thing, though. This comes with this big old battle blaster here. Look at that. It's almost like a vehicle. I love the little touch of this. It feels like you got a lot for your money with this figure here. Obviously, you got the traditional snow trooper. He does have uh, pretty much power of the force style articulation. Won't fault him for that. His head doesn't really move. It does just a little bit up and down, but not side to side so much. Arms up and down, legs up and down, but pretty much a chest piece for the most part. But very cool that he holds onto his blasters here, can connect right to it. He does come with a white backpack that very easily plugs into his back like a backpack would, uh, but really good. A little off-white on this one. I don't know if that's the color change over the years. As you guys know, some of this white plastic really turns yellow over time, but still looks okay. He does come with a Stormtrooper-esque blaster, and I do like that since he has this big gun here, he does have a holster on his side, so you can put that blaster right in there if you would like to do it that way. So I think that is a cool option. And then this blaster, like I said, is awesome. This is probably better than the figure. It looks cool. It looks menacing. It looks like it did in the movie. I think it'll display really awesomely right there with the red projectile missile. Let's see. Can I hit the camera? This thing's got a hair trigger on it. Let's see if old Kyle can get the camera. Oh, yeah. Right off the camera. This thing, poke your eye out. Poke your eye out. Be careful. Uh, but it's on a swivel here. Just really cool. I love things like this. This is really going to help with the old battle for Hoth. Uh, give the bad guys a little bit of weaponry here. But look at that. How cool is this? 
There's no way this is topping this. I strongly recommend picking this up. If somehow I come across some more of these at a cheap price at my local toy store, I will pick up a few of these. That's how much I like this. Some of these, as we all know, are hot garbage. This is far from it. I strongly recommend that Snow Trooper. I like it. I like it a lot. But will I like the Hoth Trooper? That's the question. We've had Hoth Troopers in the past. Let's see what we think about this one. Kind of your standard fair Hoth Trooper. A lot of it reminds me of the Power of the Force edition, but there is some differences here. And I do have that Power of the Force one at the table here. We can do a little comparison shots between the two. So we'll check it out right there. But typical packaging, Empire Strikes Back on the side, of course. Hoth Trooper down below. He's one of them nameless troopers. We always love an army builder, uh, especially a good guy army builder. It just doesn't seem like we get a whole lot of those. Kind of got that washed out background, but we got the same thing as we saw with the Snow Trooper. You got the lineup down below. You got some glamour shots. You got a little blurb on the back. I don't even think I read the blurb on the Storm Trooper, did I? I just threw it off. No blurb. I might have to have future Kyle come into this video and read that, so we'll see there. But be ready for that. Hoth Trooper. On the ice planet Hoth, the energy shield erected by the Rebels forced the Imperial Army to engage in a ground battle. The Rebel soldiers dug into snowy trenches, blasting at the incoming Imperial Stormtroopers and the unstoppable Imperial Walkers. When it became evident the base would fall to the enemy, the Hoth Troopers provided covering fire to give the Rebels time to evacuate personnel and equipment from the base. They fought fiercely, dedicated to the principle of freedom and willing to lay down their lives to win their objectives. And if you were a kid like me, this guy was dying pretty quick in your toy playing days. You know, Han's not dying, Luke's not dying, at least at the beginning of your playing. These are the guys that go out there. They're the pawns in the chess game. And then uh, maybe Han might die later. You know, I mixed things up in my playing days. I'm sure you guys did as well. Pull them out. See you later. Get out of here. See you later. Ten Jedi Master Points. Ooh, he comes with a stand, this one. A stand, a backpack, and a weapon. Two weapons. There he is in the old plastic prison. Let's see what we got going on here. You guys know I always appreciate a stand. I'll never turn down a stand, that's for sure. So there it is. See you later up high. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, so what do we got here? And I'm going to bust out the old Power of the Force edition right here. Very similar, but guess what? Different. The backpack size, very same backpack, much smaller on the new one compared to Power of the Force. Figure is much smaller than Power of the Force. You can't even, this is like a giant. The Power of the Force one just towers over this guy. I didn't realize that was that big of a difference. So, yeah, not really a lot to compare here. This is Power of the Force is giant. I didn't know they had giants back then. I'm just going to pretend that's a really tall guy. That's how I'm going to play it on my end. Put that in there. All right. But yeah, definitely better than the Power of the Force days. Uh, obviously, these are seven years or so, eight years after Power of the Force. So technology, some improvements. Better face skin here. This one has goggles over his face. Uh, the new one has the goggles up top. They are not removable, not movable at all, actually. Uh, but definitely a better face scan. Uh, that's technology for you, though. Like I said, you do have his scarf over the top. You've got the Power of the Force style articulation with the arms up and down, the legs up and down. you got a holster for his blaster on his side. That's pretty cool. The head does move, of course. Backpack does not want to stay in at all, uh, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm sure he fits on this stand. He came with it. He better fit on it, and he does. And then he's got this blaster rifle, much like this one, but smaller once again. A little bit better, a little bit more detailed like everything else. But as far as your Hoth troopers go, is this a must-have? I don't know. I guess it uh, depends on scaling. These are definitely much cheaper, the Power of the Force ones. Uh, you see these a lot more plentiful. This guy, the backpack is absolutely horrendous. It does not fit in his back. It just falls off. He's got this skirt that kind of bumps up that limits the ability to just fully plug in. So that's a little disappointing there. But I do like this one a little bit more than this Power of the Force one. This Power of the Force one's a little grittier, but it doesn't look like Hoth Trooper, if that makes sense. Uh, it just looks like a Hoth Trooper from 95, not 2004. And this Snow Trooper cannot be beat. This is what I'm recommending. This is definitely the jewel between these two figures. I strongly recommend this one. This weapon is awesome. Would look great with multiples of these sitting there battling against somebody. That's how I sit it. But That's how I sit from here, I should say. How do you sit on these? What do you think? You like this one better? Did you have these? Did you pass on these? Any thoughts? Anyone? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one with some thoughts on these. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe to this video. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. For everybody in Hoth, I'm just going to lay it out there. For everybody in Hoth, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.